Hello everybody, it's Mariah and welcome back to my channel. Girl, if you are new, you already know what to do. Go ahead and subscribe down below because you're gonna love it here, okay? Today is a very exciting and eventful day. Girl, we have so much going on today and I started off on a late, late, late start. It's already 4.30. It's 4.30 and we have something very exciting going on later today. I don't even know if I can tell y'all about it. Um because on the evite it says private party and they say we're able to have our phone so basically your girl got invited to a private nba party um i don't know too much about basketball or football or none of that so i'm about to look up his name because i literally forgot what his name was okay so it's jason tatum jason tatum is throwing a private party here in atlanta um i'm not sure if they have like a game here apparently he played for the Boston. I, girl, I have no idea. I have no idea. Y'all know I'm not a sports girly, but one thing I am, the girl likes to have a good time. Okay, so I'm definitely going. Of course, they have like open bar, open food, and like hookah and stuff. It's gonna be a vibe. And I'm so excited. In the Evite, let me go to it. They said that I could bring a plus one. And so y'all already know I was gonna invite Tally. Like, what? If you don't know, Tally is my girl. Tally's my sister. Like, I feel like we were sisters in a different lifetime. That's my girl. And she's also a fashion designer. So I feel like this will be the perfect event for her to like network and like get her brand out there. And just overall expose herself to a different like caliber of people, just like network in the industry, just different stuff like that. It's so crazy, y'all, because as soon as I saw that I could bring a plus one, I immediately thought of tally bands like i'm inviting my girl one thing about me i'm putting my friends on like period if i feel like i need your name in rooms where people need to know who you are what you do girl i'm gonna put you on so that's what i did i invited her and she's coming <laughs> she's coming and it's crazy y'all because tally actually had to work <laughs> the event starts at 11 but we need to be there by 11 30 at the latest and originally she gets off at 11 and so before i got all the details for the event we were thinking like okay you get off at 11 you can just come to my house you know do a quick little one two get ready and we'll be there probably like 12 right absolutely not like absolutely not so once i got the rest of the information for the party our plan of getting there at like 12 was like scratched completely and then it's crazy because we literally spent like all morning long trying to find an excuse to tell her boss so she can call out at work because maybe we're going to the nba party okay and of course me being the good friend i was going to help her out because i want you to come with me and she wants to go too so yeah girl i went on google and if you don't know this you can go on google and like type up um hospital pictures er pictures whatever and photos will come up. <laughs> photos will come up y'all i'm not even joking photos will come up a little disclaimer okay i'm not telling y'all to go out and do this i'm not telling y'all to call out for work and like lie to your boss i'm not telling y'all to do this okay do this at your own risk but this is just what we did <laughs> so i literally sent her these images i found on google and they look so realistic like yeah yeah so <laughs> y'all i can't believe i'm telling y'all this but whatever i don't care but we literally went on google to find pictures of random people at the hospital and then girl we was like okay like that might not work because the boss probably already know like our game like we have to move you know a little bit differently so i honestly don't know what tally ended up telling her boss or telling the people i have no idea but all I know is it worked because my girl sent me this. She was like, it worked. We outside. This is her literally dancing at work, y'all. <laughs> this is her dancing at work. Like, I cannot. <laughs> oh, no, like, I literally cannot. Like, I just can't. We gonna make it happen by all means. Like, period. Okay, so 
Tally is coming. Tally is coming. Her spot is secured. Um, I gave the management her name. Her name's on the list and we're coming. Okay, we're coming and I'm excited. <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna have hookah. They're literally gonna have hookah. But anyways, this management is also the same management that invited me to LeBron James' birthday party. This was like, I wanna say two years ago. It's a few vlogs back. If I can remember, I'll look it up and link it down below. One thing about her, she gonna make sure that I'm invited, okay? So when I got that evite and all the information, it was only right that I was to go. Like, what are you talking about? Y'all know I was in my homebody era, but that ship has sailed. <laughs> that ship has sailed. We're outside, okay? We're outside. And I feel like life is all about a balance. Like, I feel like I just be needing those days where I don't do nothing, right? Then I need days where I'm doing the most. You know what I'm saying? So it's all about balance, baby. Balance, balance, balance. Life is about balance. Anyways, y'all, here is the outfit of the day. I just have on this cute little, like, yoga, like, cute little run errands outfit. Very chill. Very chill. Very casual. On the top is Fashion Nova. I think. Fashion Nova? Yeah. I'm going to say Fashion Nova. I think it's from Fashion Nova. I literally have no idea. But it's so cute. It's so cute. I feel like it gives, like, early 2000s vibes. I don't know. But it's super cute. And it's a really soft, like stretchy, like yoga type material. And so I paired it with these super cute yoga pants from Lululemon and my little New Balances. So cute. Yeah. It's giving very much errands, very much um, it girl. Yeah. This is what I'm wearing today. Um, I'm about to go to the mall because I literally have nothing to wear for this event. The dress code for the party said upscale and sexy. And it's like, I do have upscale and sexy pieces, but I want something new. I need something new. Like I want to feel new. I want to feel brand new. Like rip me out of plastic. You know what I'm saying? So I had to go to the mall to find something that fits that vibe, you know? And as far as color, um, I do want to stay neutral. Preferably something black maybe, or like a deep dark, like red color i don't want to do anything like too colorful you know i really want to stay like dark and like sexy just like subtle and mysterious <laughs> i do too much i do too much i do too much but yeah like make some noise like what the fuck like i'm so excited i'm excited like clearly i'm excited like i'm literally glowing today i feel so good but really quickly before we go ahead and head out and go to the mall we have a package. So we're gonna do a cute little unboxing. We're gonna do a cute little unboxing. Excuse me, I have a, um, I have a, um, what am I trying to say? Idea, I guess, assumption. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. I have an idea that it might be from YSL Beauty. So let's go ahead and unbox her. I'm not gonna cut myself today. Y'all know every time I open packages, I be cutting myself. So I'm not gonna do that today. I need to get a box cutter on Amazon. Why I don't have one yet, I have no idea, but that will come in handy right about now. But y'all know we have been working with YSL this year and they just keep sending your girl more and more and more and more and more. And it just be feeling like Christmas. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Period. 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 Yo, now they send me black opium. Wow. This is crazy because I literally, wait a minute y'all, let me make sure nothing else is in here. Cause y'all know how YSL do, they be spoiling your girl sending me like 50 things at a time. Anyways, I've literally always wanted to try this fragrance and I'm excited. I'm excited. And it's funny because I've never smelt this before. I don't recall anyway, like, I feel like this is a very popular fragrance. For me personally, I just never tried it. I've never had it, but I've always wanted to. So this is the perfect opportunity by itself. Be spoiling me. I'm gonna be smelling good like all year. Like they be spoiling your girl to the max. Ooh, the bottle is really nice. One thing about YSO, I love how aesthetically pleasing all their products are. Like this is so, so nice love her so this is what the um bottle of the fragrance is looking like 
It's black opium. It's the back. Okay, y'all. So on the card, it says, we can't wait for you to enjoy YSL Beauty's black opium, the fragrance that encapsulates the vibrant spirit and boundless energy of the festival season. Whether you are amongst a kaleidoscope of color or the pulsating rhythm of music, black opium will electrify your senses. A blend of elegance with coffee notes alongside sweet vanilla creates the ultimate scent. Don't forget to tag YSL Beauty, hashtag YSL Beauty, all that good stuff. Y'all, YSL is taking it. I'm so excited. Like, y'all gonna get my first real raw reaction because I don't think I've ever tried this before. Okay, how do I twist this off? Because y'all know how some perfumes, like the thing already be twisted off. Oh, let me calm down because obviously I'm too hype right now. But this is so cute. You guys, like, it's giving we're gonna wear this tonight. Or maybe I should mix it with the YSL Libre they sent me last month. What do y'all think? I don't know. Let's see what it's giving. Let's see what it's giving, okay. Y'all. That's all I'ma say. That's all I'ma say. That's all I'ma say. <laughs> This is iconic. Have y'all ever seen those like silent review videos on TikTok? Like people will hold up products and they'll give a silent review. That was my silent review. Like. but this no like this is so good i literally love this i feel like i don't necessarily like smell the coffee notes that's in this but i can definitely definitely smell the vanilla for sure this is one of their sweeter fragrances in my opinion um but you guys know like different fragrances like smell differently on like people's skin like you know it resonates differently for everybody but for me personally the vanilla is very very strong this is a very 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 sweet fragrance y'all know typically speaking i'm not like a sweet fragrance type of girl me personally i prefer something very like strong like musk woody like amber wood like that's my vibe but this i am definitely a fan of this it smells so good i just sprayed it on clearly as y'all just saw so i'm gonna wear it all day today and then maybe i'll give you guys a review on like how it holds up for me and like how it lasts but typically speaking though their fragrances last forever on me you guys know the ysl labre is my all-time holy girl favorite fragrance ever okay literally ever and that one lasts all day all night all week i can spray it on on monday on a jacket and by friday that same jacket is gonna smell like the perfume i sprayed on monday okay whenever i wear it i just feel so feminine so sweet so rich like so luxury like what you wearing oh this is black opium by wild soul beauty Mwah. no bars like i am so excited to wear this and add this to my collection so once again, shout out to YSL Beauty for working with your girl and constantly sending me over gifts and goodies to try out myself and to show to you guys. So if you are interested in this fragrance, Black Opium from YSL Beauty, it will be linked down below, girl. So go get you some. Because one thing about it, I must be turning heads like all day today in the mall. I'm already knowing. I'm gonna walk by, he gonna be like, who is that so Yeah, 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 that's me. <laughs> I'm in such a good mood today. Today's gonna be a really good day, and I'm excited that you guys are here so we can go through the day together. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and wrap this up. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my bag, and I'm gonna see you guys somewhere else on the way. I'm trying to beat this five o'clock traffic, so we gotta hurry up. So let's go. All right, y'all. So as you can see, we have arrived at the mall. Well, y'all can't see because I'm in the car, but I'm telling y'all, we made it to the mall. And I thought I was going to have time to like stop and get me a smoothie, a juice, a coffee or something. But I underestimated how much time I really had. So we're not going to be doing that. So I think I'm just going to go inside of Zara because Zara typically has like really nice upscale and like sexy pieces. But I really didn't want to go to the one in Linux because if you live in atlanta then you know that one is so like ran through always ran through it's always a mess in there like this is no shade 
to the workers that work in Zara at Linux. But this is just my experience. I feel like Linux Mall is always like super overpopulated. And so you clean something up, it's somebody coming behind you 10 seconds later and like messing up again. So that's not their fault. Me personally, I just hate going to like super, super, super overpopulated malls because there's literally nothing in there but we're gonna cross our fingers that we can find at least something like i just need something because i literally like don't think i have anything i can make some shake but why would i want to make something shake when i can go get something that's fresh you know what i'm saying so hopefully they have what we need I also don't know what exactly I'm looking for if I want to do a dress or if I want to do like a jumpsuit or something like I really don't know like what exactly I'm looking for I just know I want something like super cute and upscale and sexy because those are the vibes anyways let's go ahead and head inside the mall and cross our fingers that we can find something cute okay it's honestly not that packed today which is really nice And we have a So as you can see, we're in Zara and it's going really well, I would say. Um, side note, it's not as um, messy in here as it typically is, which is good. <laughs> Probably because there's not that many people in here, but this is the first outfit that I've found. It's like this cute, like, lacy moment. It has like a collar on it, it buttons up. And then the bottoms look like this which is really cute. So we're gonna see what she's giving. I got the bottoms in it extra small cause I kind of wanted it to fit a little snug. And then I'm debating if I should do like a black top or like a bra. It's covered, but it's still like showing skin. Like I don't want to give grandma, I want to get like sexy, but like upscale, you know? And then I also found this, not to wear tonight, but just to have. Um, I just think this is so cute. I was kind of confused on how the top went, but I feel like once I put it on, we can figure out how it goes. But this is a small, which is nice. But the pants are in a medium and I don't typically wear a medium and they look really big. So if the pants fit, then we're gonna get her. If not, then we ain't gonna get her, okay? So this is what it's giving. I'm excited. This was a lot easier than I had imagined. So let's go ahead and try everything on. Secured the bag, period. All right, y'all, so we're out of Zara and now I'm in Victoria's Secret. I'm just gonna try on a bunch of these cute little bralettes to see which one I like best to go with the black lacy outfit that we got from Zara. So be right back. Secured another bag. When I tell you going inside of the mall is just exhausting. Like I'm exhausted and then doing all this walking girl like I don't work up a big appetite and I was already kind of hungry anyway before we even went inside of the mall But y'all know we had time to do that before because baby it's already 730 <laughs> It's already 730. We got here at like Six I want to say or something like that. Let me see Because I know the exact time that I got out my car because I took a picture of where I parked <laughs> because I'd be forgetting where I'd be parking sometimes. Yo, I took this picture at 5.24 p.m. and it's currently 7.20 p.m. 
that's insane that's well over an hour and i was not expecting to be in the mall that long like that's ridiculous i'm hungry though and i didn't want to eat in the mall there's really nowhere to eat for real i really don't know what i want to eat y'all i'm trying to like look up something like really quick the only thing that keeps popping up <laughs> is chipotle <laughs> Y'all, I have an addiction. This is like really bad. Like I can literally eat Chipotle like every day. Like I just love Chipotle. But I don't want to eat that because I know if I eat Chipotle, it's going to make my stomach like really bloated and I don't have time to like de-bloat my stomach before tonight. Oh my gosh, I didn't even show y'all what outfit we ended up getting. I ended up getting the black outfit, y'all. Well, actually, I'm not going to um show y'all right now. I'm gonna wait till we get to the house to show y'all because I don't feel like doing all this in the car. It's very compact in here. So I'm gonna wait till we get home. Anyways, I know I need to go to Target as well for a few things, but I probably won't bring y'all in there because I'm legit just gonna run in and run out. I need to get two things maybe. And I'm sure y'all don't really care about that. So we're gonna skip that part. I need to figure out what I'm gonna eat because I am literally starving. Then I was thinking like maybe I'll do a smoothie because um, smoothies are quick and like filling and stuff. But I want food, like I want food. <laughs> but all the quick food is unhealthy, like what? And it's like, yeah, I could go to Sweet Green or something or like True Food Kitchen or like Flower Child to get like a salad bowl, but like I don't wanna get out my car. That's like the thing. I don't wanna have to get out my car. I really just wanna drive up and get something. And if you are new here, um, I'm not on no crazy like dietary restriction like I'm not you know that's not what this is okay we ain't counting calories but lately I have been traveling and like eating bad and drinking and doing all this extra stuff all the time 24 7 and I feel like my body just needs a break okay like I need to snap back and fill my body with greens and fill my body with like nutrients and like things that are healthier for me you know, I want to drink more water, do my tea in the morning, like, you know, get back in routine. And y'all know, just start working out more. Overall, I just want to, like, prioritize my health more than ever. So those are the vibes right now, y'all. So don't think, like, I'm on no crazy, like, counting calories, dietary restriction. Like, this is not that. I just want to have balance in my life, you know, in all areas. And then it's like, Chipotle isn't the healthiest, especially, like, not the way I get my bowl. I be getting, like, cheese and sour cream and, like, rice, like, you know. But at the same time, like that's healthier than chick-fil-a <laughs> all right y'all so let me go ahead and figure out what the heck i'm about to eat because <laughs> i know y'all probably tired of me contemplating back and forth um i'm gonna go ahead and figure this out and then we'll just rekindle either when i'm eating or once we're back home guess who's at chick-fil-a <laughs> y'all it's literally nothing to eat but chick-fil-a and chipotle so i don't want to hear it like literally it's nothing else to eat and yeah. Hi, Mo. How are you? Always well. What's going to be that great Mariah. Mariah. What are you excited for? I'm going to get a three-count um, combo meal. Okay. And can I get no salt on the french fries? You sure can. And then for the drink, I'm going to do a Sunjoy. And I'm going to do Polynesian and barbecue for the sauce. And then I'm going to get a small mac and cheese. That's everything. That's going to be 13 Okay, I'm going to do Apple Pay. You said Sunjoy, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, y'all, so, like I was saying, I wasn't going to go to Chick-fil-A. I wasn't. I was going to go to Chipotle. But then I was thinking, like, all that rice, like, that's no better. You know, the rice is going to have me bloated and stuff in my outfit. And I don't want to look bloated in my outfit. And then I was thinking, I'm going to be, like, drinking and stuff tonight anyway. And so I might as well, like, put some grease on my stomach to hold the liquor down. You know? If you know, you know. Okay? So, those are the vibes. That's going on. I just ordered me um, a chicken tender meal from Chick-fil-A. And I'm excited about it. <laughs> I'm excited about it. I'm excited about it. But literally, I feel like somebody needs to come up with some new fast food restaurants. Or some fast food restaurants that are like good. Because literally, I only eat Chick-fil-A and Chipotle. As far as like fast food. Wendy's on occasion. But like top three fast food restaurants. Chipotle, Chick-fil-A, and Wendy's. And I'm not here to argue with y'all. Like, that's just what it is. Like, let me know a better top three than Chick-fil-A, Chipotle, and Wendy's. You can't. There's no other better top three. So, there's that. Oh, my gosh, y'all. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Like, let me play some music to, like, ease my mind a little bit because 
I'm just stressed out right now because I'm hungry and I've been out all day. Thank you. Let me turn this off so I don't get copyrighted. You can have my son. We eat tea joint. Diamond steak, oh boy. Thank you so much. I'm gonna check that food. I'm sorry, can I get one more Polynesian, please? Thank you so much. Have a great night. Cause I need to make sure I got all my sauces. Y'all, okay, yeah. Cause I don't be wanting to hold up the line. But I'll be having to check my food. Anyways, y'all, I'm about to go ahead and head home and eat my food. Mmm. Oh. Oh. Whoa, what the heck? Okay, wait a minute. I gotta go. Alright, y'all. So as you can see, we are back home and I'm about to start getting ready. I'm not gonna lie. I took me a little nap, but I am about to get in the shower, do my skincare, my makeup, and basically like everything. Like I need to be giving tonight. Like from one to 10, I need to be 100, like period. So I figured um, I'm gonna go ahead and kind of like show you guys everything that we got for our look tonight. And hopefully it comes together. Hopefully it comes together. I haven't tried everything on like together yet, the whole outfit and you know, the shoes. I haven't like did everything. So I'm just crossing my fingers that it looks how I imagined it in my head. And also, I don't know how long it's gonna take me to finish getting ready. And I hope I don't run late, but if I do, at least um, I got a chance to show y'all my outfits. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. So I am wearing my red bottoms tonight. I'm really excited. I got these in October and I've literally only worn them one time when I went to go see Nicki Minaj. And I feel like that was a special occasion, okay? Nicki Minaj was on my bucket list. Like, I have to see her before anything. Like, I literally have to see her. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna wear my shoes, you know, see Nicki Minaj. And I swear to y'all, that's the only time I've ever worn these shoes. Baby, I ain't wearing these red bottoms just any and everywhere, okay? And I feel like tonight will be very suiting for the occasion. And so we're gonna wear the red bottoms! I'm excited. So here are the shoes. They are giving, if you watched um, the vlog where I got these, then you already know what they look like. I'll go ahead and link it up in the eye and have it down below for you guys because that vlog was like one of my personal favorite vlogs that I've ever did on my channel. And yeah, y'all just need to go watch that. But anyway, so here are the shoes, okay? And obviously I'll be wearing silver jewelry because the piece on here is silver. And I just feel like these are just so grown and sexy. These are so nice, like this was such a nice gift and I'm so happy I got these. Like be so for real, be so for real. They're just so cute, period. So I got my Christian Louis Vuitton. Wearing those tonight and I'm really excited. Honestly though, they hurt my feet so bad. I remember at the um, Nicki Minaj concert, girl, I was dying. Like I don't know what it is about like designer shoes or maybe it's just these shoes. My Fendi shoes are good. Like I never had to like break those in, but baby these, Baby, I'm talking about they hurt so bad. And it legit took me like 10 minutes to get the boot off of my foot. Like, I don't know what that's about. It may be because these are like leather boots and y'all know my Fendi shoes, it's a heel, it's open toe, so it's not that much to break in. Anyways, y'all, let me show you what we have to go with the shoes. I'm really excited. Okay, y'all, so this is the outfit that I went with. I showed you guys this in Zara, but I don't think I told y'all like which one I ended up getting for sure. It's kind of hard to see um, what it looks like when I don't have it on, but basically, girl, it's so cute. It's crazy because it looks like lace, but it's not lace. The material is so heavy duty, like good quality. Basically, it's like this, hold on, let me try and put my hand under it so y'all can kind of see. So basically the pants look like this. It's see-through, this really pretty pattern. And then the butt part is covered. It has the lining inside with the black shorts. So hopefully y'all can get the idea. First size I tried on was an extra small. That fit, but it was like, 
it was like super tight around like my thigh area and so it was making the top part like by my waist look very weird and so i just went with the size small I tried on a medium as well but that was like way too big and so i just got the size small and i know i'm not gonna remember to put the link down below so screenshots if you are interested in this outfit there's the barcode and the code number should be on there as well so there's that and then y'all it comes with this super cute top it's like a collared like button up type of thing and the sleeves are like kind of like um elbow length so the sleeves don't go all the way down it's just so cute i feel like y'all can't really see it because the lighting in here but it's just so cute here's an up close view of what it looks like y'all super sexy <laughs> But it's still like covered though, you know? Like it's covered, but it's like showing a little bit, like just enough. You know what I'm saying? So I am so excited to put this on. Like I literally cannot wait. Like I already know it's gonna look so good on me. I feel like it's just giving, it's giving. And I'm super happy that the butt part is covered on the pants as well. You know, just for the occasion. Like we ain't going to nobody club, you know what I'm saying? We going to a party nba private party like you want to give sexy but like you know not too much and i feel like this is like the perfect outfit for me honestly i thought i wasn't gonna find anything but girl this this is gonna eat down and i just cannot wait to wear this i just cannot wait to wear this like i just feel like i'm gonna look so cute so all black of course okay with the pop of red with the red bottoms i'm thinking i'm gonna try a red lip tonight should I try a red lip? I don't know, I'm really scared. I've never done red, ever, y'all. Like, I've never done red. And I feel like you can very easily mess up a red lip. A red lip can go from cute to clown real fast, okay? And I don't wanna be getting clowns tonight. Like, that's gonna be embarrassing. So I might go on TikTok or something and like look up a tutorial. <laughs> y'all, I don't know, I'm so scared. And then I went to Forever 21. And I got me some cute little earrings. By the way, if you didn't know, Forever 21 has some of the best like little fashion jewelry pieces. And so I picked up these super cute earrings. They're so cute. And then let me show y'all the um, bralette piece that I got from Victoria's Secret to wear with the outfit. This is what it looks like. Hold on y'all. Let me clasp it in the back so y'all can actually see what it's given. Okay, girl, let's get it together. Okay, so this is the bra piece can y'all see so i hope this angle is good enough but basically this is the bralette piece that i got to wear with our outfit for tonight girl like she's giving she is giving and i feel like it's just not so like bam in your face i got a bra on you know it's very subtle it also has a lace detailing like the outfit we got for tonight so i feel like this is just gonna go like hand in hand you know so yeah y'all i'm really excited tally's supposed to be coming in the next few minutes or so oh wait y'all she said she's on her way <laughs> tally actually is on her way that's crazy and she just texted me that's crazy look y'all she's on the way okay y'all so tally is on the way i'm about to go ahead and hop in the shower and i'm gonna see y'all once we start getting ready <laughs> that's the last one you don't need life you open the other concealer they make y'all pay for that yep that is diabolical that's nasty work. That's what everybody's saying on Instagram. That's diabolical. Diabolical? What? You know they always got the words every other day. Is that these? Yeah, the roller mine. Oh, you stacked those? Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and take. Perfect music. This is the brush you use for this powder? Uh huh? <laughs> Daddy popping a pussy in my motherfucking deal. Yeah. Yeah. No. 
Like blowout type of look. Yeah, it's gonna drop like it's hot later. Not too much. Yeah, you're not too much, but like just enough. This is what I'm talking about. Y'all see? Okay, I think we're ready. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm pretty I'm ready. scared. I'm not. You're not scared? No, I just want my hair to do right. Don't piss Your me hair off. looks fine, Tally. Yeah, so OOTN outfit, Zara, and my little bralette. Y'all know I got this from Victoria's Secret. Shoes, Louis, not Louis. What are these? Um, Louis Vuitton. Yeah, yeah Louis, Louis, Louis Vuitton's on the shoes. Um, my arm candy, Van Cleef, and the bracelet that my auntie got me. My little promise ring, my other jewelry, and then these earrings. Where's what you want? Tell your turn. To a lot of like, yeah, 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 shoes. Bottega, Bottega, Bottega earrings, vintage from a vintage shop somewhere. Okay. Um, boot covers, Target. Jewelry view my day. Our body oil on our body glitter, like it's really giving. I'm about to put some more on just to give it that yeah, extra. I think, and I think I'm gonna drench myself with some more. Up. Yeah, mm -hmm. you got to. Oh, I'm breaking the black opium perfume yeah, in my bag. Yeah, drench that. Because I wanna be like smelling good. I'm so nervous. Kelly not nervous, y'all, because she just thinks she just so professional. Like Kelly don't get nervous, but I be getting nervous. I'm scared. Y'all, I look so good. Like period. <laughs> The look came together. I'm trying to like keep my jacket like not so exposed, you know? Yeah. But I do want it to be exposed, but not like too, too much, but like Where's my eye just eye? enough. Let me bring y'all in there because we gotta go. Okay, y'all, this is a close up of my look, period, period. Wait, like, period. And I look so pretty. Right here. Yeah. This is a nice. That's what we didn't cut this off. Y'all, we cut this off. It's us being late and we still want to show y'all. <laughs> we didn't put this on. We didn't put this on. Period. I love oh. the black vibes and the nude. Like, I'm loving that. You know, we always got a color coordinate. coordinate. Like, it only looks right. It only looks It's that back. For me, the back is backy. My girl has been in the gym. Yeah. Well, that's good because my, I've really been working on my back so hard. That's I'm good. I'm ready to um, Garfield. I don't want my um, tattoo to turn into Garfield. Like, what do you mean? You oh, you like gain weight? Yeah. Girl, girl bye. Yeah. You look fine. Thank you. Okay, y'all. So, <laughs> we're about to head out. Luckily, the um, venue is not too far from Mikasa. So, we're about to head out. <laughs> Okay, they say you fear what you attract. somewhere else on the way oh, no, i don't no, know no. if i can vlog because they said no phones but honestly i i don't think they really care so we're gonna see if i can vlog i'll get iphone content if not then i'll see you guys somewhere else along the way i look so pretty you look <laughs> okay y'all let me go Mwah. no bars, no bars.
Y'all, don't mind me, I'm a little lit, but why I get home and I can't take off my shoe? Y'all can't even see me. You said why though? I can't take off my shoe. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all haven't met your name, but yes, I okay. did. I met your name. What did you even vlog? At the Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah. She word, y'all. <laughs> she word. Fat. What's, your, what I what's Fat. your name? What's your name? Like, what's going on? What's like, your name? What's your real name? And not your super <laughs> name. What's your name? <gasps> you know what I'm about to. Hold on, let me call you right back. I'm about to call Fat for real. What's up, baby? What you doing? What's happening, bitch? Fine, baby. You mind, baby. Y'all wanna go? Um, my night's been pretty swell, I would say, mm -hmm. for the most part. I did what I needed to do. Mm -hmm. Johnny, what about you? Know, you? I do what I need to. I'm glad that mm -hmm. I didn't leave with my friends and I chose the and made the executive decision to stay. And mm -hmm. I got- Wait, you said what? Well, I'm saying they left. Who? The girls I was with. Why? Because they were drunk. Okay. Oh, who are they? How drunk are um, y'all? That one went. of them like is like one of my like they're all my friends but yeah they left but i was like i'm not ready to go like i'm like what other friends are here it's cool i'm like they're like no we can't leave you by yourself but we all like drove like we were separate i'm like you know if i'm there you good yeah i'm like mariah and them here i'm like it's i'm cool we like that back. well you go baby i was talking about freshman year y'all don't even know <laughs> Yo, if y'all hey. watch sports then y'all probably know who we're talking about <laughs> if y'all don't watch sports then it's just between me and, and i got you. Yeah. Y'all, okay. <laughs> these NBA players though, they be on some nasty. other stuff. Ugh. Ew. Give me some music, <laughs> Muhammad. Mariah. Muhammad, can All you, you can do some music, is please? Say, like, you brought us here. <laughs> we should be going home and going to bed. Y'all, Muhammad is our driver. He just put me in charge of the ox. <laughs> Yeah. Is that cute? Are you ready? Do your damn. Get it sexy. Get it sexy. Anyways, y'all, we um about to go to the spot, the after hours. So I guess I'm gonna just catch home and get them. I hear you going when I'm Okay. Yeah. Gospel music on. Are you serious? Yeah. That's so scary. <laughs> now I'm gonna be thinking about that. <laughs> Tell me so for real, bro. I feel like, okay, if we could describe last yeah. night in one word. Open. Mm, that's some tea that y'all not ready for. Last night was cool. It was cute. But... I don't know. How you feel? So Callie got to um, have a business conversation with him, y'all. Jason. What's his name? Jason Tatum? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, networking opportunities. But, what would you say? It was very tall. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I was Everybody talking. Is so yeah. It was like a bird. So it was like a... E you know what? I'm going to say this. <laughs> it was like <laughs> egos and vultures. Yeah. In the room. Yeah. And y'all should know who the watchers were. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like these players, they be tall on TV. Like, obviously, they're basketball players. They're tall. But in real life, it's scary. And I like tall men. No, but I, like, I like, like scary tall. But Tally like scary, like creepy tall. Like, I'm talking about their head touching the ceiling, y'all. <laughs> you think I should tell them about, I don't know. 
all that GBDB. <laughs> If you, you know, go to these events or you want to go to these events and you don't know what to expect, like I really want to give y'all like the real tea. Expect to get approached <laughs> and get asked if you want to. But overall, I feel like we did have a really good time and, you know, it was a good networking opportunity and um, Tally actually got plugged in. Huh? Can I tell them? about um she got plugged in with his manager actually for her clothing business and so she's gonna send him some pieces that you know i feel like that's really like what i wanted to come out of this event just networking overall mm -hmm. it was fun and it was a bunch of other celebrities there i think see i was there quavo was there yeah who else was there i expected what i what i seen and what you I did because you were like, saying I that beforehand him. you was like are you trying to Tell me like what it was. This is what it's gonna be. Like me personally, I like to network. You know I like to talk. I can talk all day. Yeah. But it's like, where is the line between networking and being a groupie? Cause I don't ever wanna um, get groupie. The group, it, yeah, groupie. it was giving group group and it was groupie giving party. Like, like it was like very giving groupie so yeah. bad. Like, to the point where like sometimes it was even kind of hard to like enjoy the party. Cause I feel like everybody was just trying to be next to somebody. And, Calm like, down, it was too damn, groupie. shit, they all over the place, relax, yeah. So what's the difference? I feel like, like networking I feel and like, then, like I, groupie. No, you, yeah, yeah, you executed that really like I had lovely. a plan. Yeah. <laughs> I need the source, substance. Yeah, substance. I was very sure. strategic. If, if you want something, you need to go in there with a plan. Yeah. Like Andrea, plan. Oh. Love her. That's my plan. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna think you crazy. Okay, okay. Don't be so like trying to be so uptight and look like a. It's yeah. like just relax and just yeah. just vibe. Calm down. Like mm -hmm. it's not that. It's never that serious. Yeah. So actually, when they say like. Celebrities are people. They're yeah. people, and they're I feel actual like, people. They're not like they're. They have on sweatpants. They they not. This is not right. Don't be so uptight and just be so like I don't know. And I feel like just by me like living in Atlanta for the time that I have lived here, like you see, them. You like, see celebrities not, all the time. Like I literally have seen Summer Walker at my nail salon, walking yeah. around my neighborhood. Like these celebrities are normal people. So I feel like what you say, like just go in and just try to be yourself. Don't try to be just somebody that you're not. Yeah. Don't try to be like oh like <laughs> no <laughs> because it's noticeable and it's, it's not very a good look. noticeable. It's, it's not a good look. So I feel like just being authentic for sure, being confident, just being yourself yeah. and just being welcoming, like friendly, like, you know, approachable to talk to, not all stuck up in the corner with the same face. Like it never gave that. Mingle. So yeah, walk mingle, around. walk around. Like, walk you know, around, don't be yeah. sitting over there looking all bored. You're, that's Cause not substance fun. is everything. Cute. And I love that word, like substance. substance. You want to meet people, have interactions with substance. Talk, open your mouth, act okay. like a normal person, smile. Yeah. You know, it's not that hard. Yeah. So if any of y'all wanted to know like, you know, some tips on or not even tips, like advice for like events like that or whatever, or you wanna get into events like that, you know, there you go. Yeah. Got some gems for you. Get dressed though, look cute, look good. Yeah, look the oh baby, look, look the good. Part. That was our quick little um recap of last night. But we're actually about to head out because we're going to get sushi. Um, we were gonna go to Nobu, but they actually don't have the happy hour here in Atlanta for Nobu, and that sucks. They had the happy hour in Houston, which was really nice. But anyway, y'all, so yeah, we're about to head out and go get sushi and some leek cheese, and Tally's gonna be working, don't so. Don't tell my child. <laughs> no, why don't I tell my subscribers that, that you caught off? Oh, yeah. Where? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Look, and she would have called off too. I'm talking no, about I know. the person that's where she would have called off. First of all, girl, look, this ain't my damn career. Okay, the one thing about it, I'm gonna, I had a plan, a plan, and I executed, executed it perfectly. So, period. I'm not sacrificing and, and working like a Hebrew slave at these jobs. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm not doing all that. I'm at work right now. I'm about to go have a drink. My camera! I just got this. You did? Yo, oh my gosh. Like I said, the work Tell me, I'm sorry, this, this girl. girl. <laughs> Can you find somebody to come to the ship? No, I can't. That's your job. That's why you're the manager. Oh my gosh. You're so insane. Anyway. Do you know that? Like, you're insane? Anyway.
anyway, you literally are like insane. So I'm gonna go into the restaurant like this. This is crazy. Tag's a hot mess. I'm a, um, we gonna see all the way to sushi. Now we just arrived to the area that our sushi place is at, and this area is so cute. We have a patio too. We can sit outside. You wanna sit outside? I'm outside. It's nice. The pollen isn't like too bad. Oh my god, that's the black opium! Yeah, I just spread that, that on. Like, so it's yeah. black opium, but from YSL. Yeah, y'all just saw the waiter a real raw reaction. Go get that black opium. Now I have it in my purse. I did like two little sprays. Did you see they're leaning like you? <laughs> Sally, we're recovering. The lady just put the water on the table. I am so What is going on? Like, it makes no sense. <laughs> you look so pretty. Thank like, you. you're like sophisticated, like working woman. Like, <laughs> you didn't pay your bill. <laughs> what are we gonna order? This place is so nice. Underscore for this place is a vibe. Yeah, I don't really see anything on the happy hour that I want. That's probably why it's on happy hour. <laughs> yeah, okay. Big back activity. Big back. <laughs> big back activity. Big back is something kind of crazy. Yo, why did he eat her up like that he on Facebook? Down. That's why it was so funny. Like, I thought that was hilarious. But I feel really like once funny. you bring it to the internet. He's like, that's it. Like, he was like teaching you. Right, like, teaching you as a kid. Oh, they have hibachi. Eating hibachi. The shrimp tempura sounds good. Not the roll, but the appetizer. But I love that. Like a sushi place that has a variety of different sushis. Oh, they have a Sex in the City sushi. Is that your vibe? I would have respectfully considered. Y'all have no idea what I want. I wanted the Yotel sashimi, but if it's not how like Nobu does it, then I don't know if I'm gonna like it. That's why I be going on Yelp. Yelp will have everything. They'll show you pictures and like reviews of everything. Matter of fact, I'm about to go on Yelp. And I feel 100 years old having Yelp on my phone <laughs> at my ripe age. <laughs> got our soups. I got the miso soup, of course. Tally, what did you get? Uh, miso soup, lobster. So hers has lobster in it, so. Yeah, that's what we got. You okay? No, I just bust my Is it getting bigger? It looks kind of swollen, a little bit. <laughs> Why'd you do that? <laughs> I hit my lip on it. <laughs> Girl, you gotta slow down. Right. Anyway, y'all, so this is what the soup is giving. I'm excited. The sun is out. Tally Ben's got her natural hair out. It's really giving, like, my girl got them real inches. Yeah. Period. Hey Amen. <laughs> Just a little razzle dazzle. I feel like the name of their sushi rolls are so like unique and really fun and like funky. So Tally's, the name of her sushi roll she got is called Sex in the City. It's spicy tuna with tempura flakes rolled and topped with bluefin tuna, mango, avocado, spicy mayo, and eel sauce. Have you ever had eel sauce? Yeah, that's like what they do Oh, the black stuff. Yeah. I never knew what it was called. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I got the, um, I don't even know how to pronounce this, samurai roll. I don't know, but basically it's a baked sushi roll, which I don't think I've ever had before, so I'm really excited. I usually get raw sushi, but we try something different today. So it has crab meat in it, cucumber, avocado, it's topped with salmon, drizzled with tempura flakes, scallions, spicy mayo, wasabi mayo, and eel sauce. So that should be really good. It's spicy, y'all know I like spicy stuff, so. I'm excited. Ellie's on her, well she wants to be on her second Lucy Martini. And I'm still playing catch up. Are you insane? The vibes are just vibing like. Sushi came and it's giving. Tally's roll is so colorful. Like, period. <laughs> like you. And my roll look good. Like, I'm excited. Doesn't look good? You gotta try it. It's baked. 
try my So we're gonna get a cute little picture and do a little taste test for y'all. We also ordered Marlici martinis because as you can see, Tally played no games with hers. I can't juice. I can't juice for breakfast this morning. I really did though. That's like facts. Yeah, she really did. juice. I'm still working on mine though, but these are the vines. I'm so excited to taste it, y'all. You gotta do a cheers. Cheers. Mm. What do you think? Here he is. Okay, y'all, so the sushi is given. Tally, what do you rate yours? I'm gonna give it an eight. Eight, okay. That's a very high rating. Mm. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Can I trade this? Yep. Oh, you're, you're, no, you're, oh, yeah, I'll take this. Yeah, we need that fruit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm take that. Thank you. I'm gonna take some. Sorry, I don't mean to get Thank you so much. Camera. No, you're fine. Okay, which one you said I should try? The, the yellow? Yellow, yep. Yeah. Cheers! Good morning, everybody. So, as you can see, girl, it is the next day. And I don't know why I'm so tired today. Like, I don't know. I feel like I'm low-key still recovering from the other day. <laughs> Which might sound crazy. And it is crazy. But... I don't know. I feel like I always just have this like foggy brain, like brain fog after like I stay out all night and I be like outside, I'm drinking and like cooking stuff. The next day, sorry, that was my ice maker. But the next day, I just be feeling like this weird like brain fog. I don't know. But anyways, y'all, I slept really good last night. Right now I am making my tea. This has just become a part of my like daily routine. I literally drink this tea every morning and most nights because it's just so good. And if you didn't watch my last vlog, I was telling y'all that spearmint tea is really good for um, hormonal acne if you struggle with that. And even if you don't struggle with any type of like acne or like breakouts, it's just good for your overall skin health. And so I really just been implementing this into my morning and night routine like every day because summer's coming up and I need like glass glowy skin for the summer. Like I wanna look like that girl. So I'm gonna be doing this. And on the bright side, it also tastes really good. It's really refreshing. So. I just like to drink my tea in the morning, girl. Anyways, y'all, so as you can see, we just finished making our tea. It smells really good. I'm gonna let it cool off for a second while I talk to y'all. I'm just gonna update y'all on what we have planned for the day. I'm actually all dressed because we're going to Pilates. We're going to Pilates this morning, and I'm really excited because, baby, one thing about solid core, I love going to solid core. Like I feel like I've tried a bunch of different Pilates studios here in Atlanta. And don't get me wrong, they're really good. But I always just revert back to solid core because for one, I feel like I started with solid core. That was like my base and that's just what I'm most like comfortable with, I guess. Not comfortable with, but like that's just what I'm most familiar with. So those are like my roots, my Pilates roots. But it's just something about solid core. I really feel like I get the best workout. Like I leave the next morning and I be sore. So we have a class booked for this morning and I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited about it. Um, you guys know they do different like classes and stuff. And so the class we booked for today is called Buns and Abs, okay? Buns and abs. <laughs> I keep trying to tell y'all, summertime is coming, baby. And if you play, you're going to be late. Okay. So this is a 50-minute um, express high-intensity workout. And I'm really, really excited. Um, if you don't know Solid Core, they have a bunch of different classes you can take. My three favorite ones are arms and abs, buns and abs, and then the 30-minute express core workout those are my favorite 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 pilates classes to take here at solid core i rarely ever do full body or like any other classes i kind of always just go in rotation with those three because honestly i feel like i just overall get the best results from doing those and so i'm so excited to be going this morning fingers crossed that the playlist is really good y'all know how i feel about music when i'm working out so we're praying for a nice fun strengthening workout so i'm really excited about working out today. Today's workout fit is very like, I don't even know, all over the place. I literally just like found some pieces in my closet to put on today. These are my Nike 
pro shorts. They're so cute. And I just love these. I love these shorts. They're so super cute. And then I'm wearing my Lululemon jacket. Y'all already know. I get my jackets in a size 2 or 4. And then under, I'm just wearing my crop long sleeve Gymshark little shirt. So that's what the Pilates outfit is giving, girl. I'm really excited to go to class today. And that sushi restaurant that Tally and I went to yesterday was so good. It was literally so good and like so unexpected. Like, girl, we were gonna go to Nobu, but I realized that the Nobu here in Atlanta doesn't have like the lunch happy hour prices. As y'all know, we just came from Houston not too long ago and we went for their like lunch happy hour and it was a cute little vibe, a little more than half off. And I was like, yeah, this is tea. Okay, because we went to a lunch, but I wasn't about to be spending no $500 at Nobu for lunch. Absolutely not. So we ended up finding another sushi place and it was really good. They had a phenomenal ambiance, first of all. They had a cute little like outdoor like patio area. And it was really, really nice. And I was like, oh my God, like, mm. oh my God, it's so hot. I feel like um, one thing about living here in Atlanta, in the city specifically, you're never gonna get bored. There's always gonna be something new to do, a new place to eat, a new place to go, a new area that you've never been before. And I just really, really love that. I really, really do. Because one thing about me, y'all know I get bored very, very quickly. I always have to, you know, like find something fresh, something new. And so I love trying new restaurants. So that was really fun. And then the day before that, like the whole NBA private party event, like it has just been a vibe these last few days. And I'm excited that we got to hang out and that y'all got to come with us. And really quickly, while I have y'all here, can we talk about like all the new love that y'all have been showing me? Like, <laughs> This is really crazy. I feel like I'm really in like my vlogging era right now. And I don't know if it's because like I got this new camera. Y'all know I just got a new camera. I don't know what it is, girl, but I just be wanting to vlog and just like talk to y'all. I don't know. I really wish sometimes that this was live because I be wanting to like talk to y'all like in real time. But anywho, y'all have been showing my last vlog so much freaking love. Like I am just, I have no words. <laughs> I have no words, like truly, truly have no words. I'm just a blessed, happy girl. Um, I'm just so happy. We also got a bunch of new subscribers, girl. So if you're watching and you're new, hi baby, welcome to the channel. Welcome to my channel. I feel like, I don't really know like what category to put my channel in because I feel like I do a whole bunch of everything. I do lifestyle content, like vlogs, like everyday lifestyle videos. And I do travel content. I do self-care, feminine hygiene content. I do hair content. Like, I don't really want to put myself in a box. I love to vlog. Like, I'm just a vlog type of girl. Like, I just love watching vlogs. Like, us chilling, like, going through everyday life and just vibing together. So, anyway, girl. I'm about to go ahead and get into the big three. Okay, if you know you know okay period nothing too in depth and like super thorough it's gonna take too long because i don't want to run late for my pilates class so i'm gonna go ahead and knock this out because y'all know i have to do this like this is just like mandatory for me so i'm gonna go ahead and knock this out finish up my tea and then i will see you guys once we're on the way to pilates
for success, less than 25 classes. Hey. I'm going to demo one. Turn your attention for the next 50 minutes because these 50 minutes are for you and for you only. You are in the hardest part, which is shut up. So let's get a little bit selfish and a little bit sweaty. Starting to lift your hips around your spine. I'm not doing it. Yes, I'm done. So we're going to that great side, that plank crunch. Less than 25, one wide, more than 25, a great chest. Tucking our tempo and hollowing out our midsection right there. And actually releasing the game of the game. All right. So we start to lift this one more inch. Flat this by one more inch. Release the knees. I come up towards the ceiling, folding yourself in half like a taco. Get behind that black strap. On line one. How am I going to feel? I can guarantee you that. Get up one more inch. Get up. Sending both our glutes back right up at the top. Always. And protect that connected tissue. Setting those. The carriage stays absolutely still with our ankles right but That way you can really, really get tapped. Our right, sitting front of you, that means that. Right now. Look at the looks as well today. Your neighbor right in front of you. Hold each other accountable. There's a lot of power. Now make sure your hips are evenly squared off. So lean a lot of weight into your left forearm. Right now, and extend your right arm alongside that carriage. Three for each. You want to send it all the way up. Will you perform? Get up one more inch. When I put get it up another inch. Right, tiny pulses up and up. Three, two, one. Tiny, tiny pulses. So as you can see, it is a whole lot of time later. Um, I think the last time we talked, I was leaving Pilates. After I left the grocery store, I came home and I took a shower and I put on something like super casual. These leggings are from Skims. They're so, so cute and really flattering on my body. I need to order some more of these because these have holes in them. <laughs> so I need to order some more, but um, yeah, these leggings, off the skins and then i think this top is from aritzia i got this years ago like literally years ago and it's just so cute it's so cute it's like a one shoulder um soft black kind of shirt yeah those are the vibes um you guys know i like me a cute little comfortable chill outfit to lounge around in the house in so this is what we're working with today but anyways i came on here because i'm about to start cooking for lunch we're gonna do burgers and i bought some fries i'm gonna throw those in the oven and it's gonna be really quick simple feeling and easy okay with that being said girl let's go ahead and start cooking because <laughs> maybe i'm starving okay so let's go ahead and get into it